So I want to get to the Democratic National Convention. It's passed. Were you happy with how everything transpired? I was I was so unhappy. It was the most anti-Jewish, anti-Israel, anti-Zionist convention I have experienced. And I have been watching conventions since 1952 uh, when Adlai Stevenson. Let me tell you why this was the worst convention in history and the of American history. They had more anti-Jewish, anti-Zionist people who was speaking, starting with AOC, a miserable anti-Zionist anti bigot. Then, of course, they had uh, 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 Liz um, Warren, who was one of the most anti-Jewish people in the Senate. Then they had Bernie Sanders, uh, one of the most uh, anti-Jewish people in the Senate. Then to top it off, they have one of the worst anti-Semites in modern American history um, last night. Uh, at at the convention, um, um, and uh, more and more and more now. Who was that person that they had that uh, that number four on the on uh, CNBC, whatever his name is, uh, Sharpton, Reverend Sharpton, you know the guy who uh, provoked the pogrom um, in in Crown Heights. I would like to take this opportunity to wish Alan Dershowitz a hearty Mazel Tov. Alan realized that he has no place in today's Democrat Party. The party's heroes are the anti-Semites who they showcased at the Democrat convention. The despicable Jew hater Al Sharpton, the Israel-hating Ocasio-Cortez, Bernie Sanders, and many others. Alan is a Jew who loves the Jewish people and is proud of his Jewish identity. He certainly does not belong anywhere near those scoundrels. Unlike so many successful liberal Jews and college professors who have assimilated into the far left wing of American culture to the extent that they are now supporters of Hamas. Allen has remained a proud Jew his entire life. His pride in his Jewishness was not confined to his heart. Allen has always fought for Jewish causes. I deeply admire and respect him for this. And because he has a real Yiddish hearts, I hope that if my following message reaches him, he will take it in the spirit that it was meant. It is a message of love coming from a fellow Jew who is proud to be a brother of people like Allen. I have a lot in common with Allen, even though he is more than 20 years my senior. My father was born in Williamsburg, like he was, and I was brought up in Borough Park, just like him. His father was a president of the Young Israel of Borough Park, where my uncle Moish davened his whole life. His father was also on the board of Eitz Chaim schools in Borough Park. I passed this school every day on my way to Cheder. My dear older brother, Alan, now that Hashem has opened your eyes to the true nature of the Democrat Party, I pray that you continue to grow in your awareness of truth and righteousness. You devoted much of your life to teaching in the cesspool called Harvard and protecting shady characters. I suppose this was based on your devotion to uphold the American Constitution, which ensures that even criminals should be given a chance to evade the consequences of their actions. With all due respect, I humbly suggest that you could have used your God-given talents in better ways. Had you spent your time studying Torah, you would be by now a great Torah scholar, and all your children and grandchildren would be following in your ways, forming another link in the chain of Jewish tradition, which goes back over 3,000 years to Sinai, and which will continue for all eternity. You wrote a book titled The Vanishing American Jew, in search for Jewish identity for the next century. The book is pure narishkeit from cover to cover. The American Jew is not vanishing, and there is no need to search very far for what will ensure the continuation of Jewish identity, not only for the next century, but forever. Jewish life in America is not vanishing, but flourishing. Thousands of authentic Orthodox shuls, Chabad houses, Jewish schools, and yeshivas dot the entire country from coast to coast. Thousands upon thousands of Jews have embraced Torah Judaism over the past few decades and the Orthodox Jewish community keeps growing by leaps and bounds, now approaching about 750,000. Due to their high birth rate, the community doubles about every 20 years, which means that in about 200 years, they will number more than double the entire current population of the United States. That's correct, 768 million. Ask Google AI to calculate it for you. The title of your book is incorrect because the American Jew is not vanishing and your solutions are pure narishkeit. The way to ensure the continuation of the Jewish people 
is solely and exclusively by holding on dearly to our precious Torah and mitzvahs. That is how we survived for the past 3,000 years, and that is how we will continue to thrive until the end of time. My dear brother Alan, just like you tossed away the Democrat Party, it's time for you to toss away your silly solutions for Jewish survival and your silly solutions for the State of Israel. The two-state solution which you have promoted for years is exactly what encourages Iran and all its proxies, including the monsters of Hamas, to continue to murder us and try to wear us down. They yearn for the day that a pathetic Jewish government will buckle under pressure and grant them a state sandwiching the tiny Jewish center on both sides so that from there they can move on to phase two, which will eclipse October 7th a thousandfold, God forbid. Please do not be offended by my words. I love you and I respect you and I pray to God Almighty that just like he has granted you the wisdom to abandon the Jew haters of the Democratic Party, so shall he grant you the wisdom to go further and embrace the Torah Judaism of your youth, the Judaism of your parents, your Zaydis and Babis, all the way back to Meshach Rabbeinu. Your life will be so much more meaningful if you use your tremendous influence to publicly admit the other mistakes you made and use your remaining years until 120, God willing, to bring confused and assimilated Jews back to Torah and also to publicly throw the suicidal agenda of a two-state solution into the same trash bin as you threw the current Democratic Party. My dear brother Alan, put your yarmulke back on. Start going to shul regularly with your talis and your tefillin and start tuddy, studying Torah regularly. You have a brilliant mind and you will grow tremendously. You will become a true blessing to the Jewish people in every way. I'm sorry for being so blunt, but that's something I actually learned from you. Whatever you decide, I wish you well. I love you because you are my brother, but I also respect you deeply because you have spent so much time and put in so much effort to fight for what you believed is good for the Jewish people. May you be gesund and stark ad mea